Okay, this is the Hepco and Becker crash bars installation for my 2017 Kawasaki Vulcan S Cafe. Now, these are the bolts. This would be for step one, these are for step two. And this would be the last step. These are the crash bars. That's right there. It's for the bar. This is step one and two. Then it's installed. You know? Okay, these bolts says 8.8, .8. that's reference to the torque applied on these bolts, and it's set at 16 Newton metric, which I converted into inch pounds. first thing you want to do is remove this plastic piece by unscrewing this screw right there the smaller one I'm gonna do that real quick Now that that screw is removed, to remove this plastic piece, you just need to apply a little pressure, give it a little tug, and it should pop right out. It's connected by these two points right there, which go in right there. Okay, the next thing we got to do is remove this bolt right here. This is the bolt that connects to the middle piece of the crash bar. This refers to the bolts that I mentioned are step one, which is given with the crash bars, which makes this bolt obsolete once you have replaced it with the bolt that it came with. Okay, this part was actually a bit tricky, is fitting the crash bar onto the bike. Um, I actually had to remove both the foot pegs on the brake side and the clutch side so that I could fit the bar properly. It's probably best to do that so you have space to screw in the bolts and securely.
at first I wasn't sure if the bars were gonna fit because it was I had a little difficulty uh, putting the bar in its proper location so I even called up the company to make sure it was the proper fit for my bike because my bike is a newer model and this bar has been around for a couple years now but it fits perfectly it's very snug but that's what you want because you don't want the bars to be moving around so it seems awkward at first how to fit it but it will fit Now, you just want to screw these bolts um, at hand tight because you still need to put the connecting bars between them that you want to screw in and make that bar even before you tighten up these screws. Here you see I had to take out the brake foot peg so I can fit the bolt in there Now the last thing is to connect this middle bar, it fits right in there. Right there on the other side, connect it to this on this side. However, I did not like this screw that they gave me here. And so there are all the boot bolts. Um, just have to tighten it to the proper torque and it's all installed. That's how the, it looks finished. Looks pretty good. Looks like it was part of the bike. Uh, nice color fits perfectly with the rest of the bike and I'm very happy with it here are the, some of the instructions that they gave me this is the first top one is a model for 2017 and the bottom is for 2015 through 16 but when I called the people up um, it's because there's new models of the bike but the frame of the bike has not changed over the years so this the ones I got were for the 15 and 16 but he said it's all the same so nothing to worry about right there
Okay, that's it for the installation. Thank you for much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. You know what's up. Let me get that. Uh. Come on everybody, you know we about to move me on down. Leave your fears